as a result of the research conducted, immediate response within the first five minutes following a heart attack can provide a survival rate as high as 70%. However, advanced life support and defibrillation are required to save lives at these rates. With their rapidly increasing use worldwide, automated external defibrillators can largely prevent deaths related to heart attacks. For every minute that a person in sudden cardiac arrest goes without being successfully treated within the first five minutes, the chance of survival decreases by 10%. Providing immediate advanced life support and using defibrillation as soon as possible are the most important factors to ensure survival in cases of sudden cardiac arrest. It seems likely to remarkably increase the chance of survival with the use of automated external defibrillators which are simple to use and readily accessible in cinemas, theaters, airports, public transportation vehicles, stadiums, shopping centers, public spaces, and any other location where large groups of people may gather. LifePoint automated external defibrillator device was designed to allow the fastest response to the patient thanks to its simple use and clear verbal commands. Furthermore, it has an advanced software and hardware design, including functions such as cardiac rhythm analysis, pacemaker recognition, and motion detector. How to use the LifePoint Automated External Defibrillator If you find a person lying unconscious, firstly confirm that you, the people around you, and the patient are safe. Then. Check if the patient is conscious by gently shaking them. Position the patient on their back and lift their chin backwards to clear the airways. If the patient is not breathing, dial the emergency number and call an ambulance and either grab the nearest dive point device or ask people around you to bring it. Push the on-off button on the device and follow the voice prompts. Be sure that ambulance has been called. Cut the patient's clothes if necessary using the scissors provided in the emergency kit. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Remove pads from package. Peel pads from their liner and place exactly as shown in the picture. Check electrode pads. Insert pad plug into electrode socket. LifePoint will start to automatically analyze the patient's heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient as of this part of the process. Don't touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. The device will give the user a voice prompt if electroshock is required and it will automatically prepare the shock. Shock is advised. Don't touch the patient. Press red shock button now. Shock delivered. Now you can touch the patient. 30 firm chest compressions, then give two breaths. LifePoint will continue to provide voice prompts after the shock is administered. Start CPR following the voice prompts. LifePoint helps the user with verbal signals to ensure an efficient and regular CPR. Continue CPR following the verbal directions until you hear the do not touch the patient command. After CPR, LifePoint analyzes the patient's heart rhythm again and prepares another electroshock if necessary. Do not remove the electrodes until medical help arrives and follow the voice prompts.